Now he is leading the tournament together with uh, Shahriyar Mamidyarov. Okay, third round, he plays experienced Israeli Grandmaster Boris Gelfand. He has chosen Trompovsky. Well, very, very popular opening. For, for Bliss especially. Yeah, for Bliss players, yes, that's true. That's true, the favorite of the great Bliss master from my city, from St. Petersburg, Genrich Chepukaitis. And, well, I think that... Okay. Now it's uh, transposed a bit into Benoni when uh, White doesn't play C4 and plays Knight yeah, some, C3. Some, some, yeah, some strange setup. Looks more or less like Benoni, but pawn is on C2. Well, it has, it has its advantages, it has its drawbacks. Alexander does not, does not know how, how to use it, so he spends time. Okay, so how to develop? Uh, actually, white has uh, quite easy de development. Knight f3, bishop to d3 probably, castle should be the main ideas, right? Yes, that's true, that's true. But he has always to think about some b5 stuff. Okay, I think something like knight f3, castle, bishop d3. Then it's already time to think about b5. There are always... Always such tricks. Such tricks in this, in this kind of position, yeah. I think. Bishop d3 is on the board. Castle, knight f3, bishop yes, g4, okay. we don't have to worry? Okay, bishop, bishop g4, it's... Uh, well, another move. It's, it's another move, but still, it's bishop pair. I think that's what White should not be very much worried about. But I don't know what. Okay, so okay, m maybe b5 just simply doesn't work. Because oh, yeah, of b5, bishop b5 and bishop, 94, you want. Bishop, b bishop b5 94, but b5 just maybe just simply knight b5. Yeah, and then there is no tactics. Well, so probably, so probably, uh, really time to switch to this plan with Bishop G4, getting rid of of these white squared bishops. It's very usual in Benoni structures. Well, but E6 is also E6 quite is a topical move. Yes. D E6. If, do they choose D E6 quite often? Well, Russell is more. Yeah, D D E did not look like a most natural choice. I think now, Black has. Easy, easy development. Black has all chances to organize d5. Okay, in general, in general, Boris Gelfand, I think, might be happy with the result of the opening. Okay, he the has obvious moves, and it will be easy for him. Yes, and his, his play is easier. Okay, uh, that's, that's very important. He has Probably extra minute. He has also maybe aiming for d5, or e5 might come a bit unpleasant. Well, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really believe so because, okay, this pawn on e5, yeah. it can D5 be only, on only weakness, yes. Right. So. ed5, and we have massive exchanges on d5, which I think it was in black's favor. Now he has free play, uh, but also white is not in any danger, let's say, like this. Yes, it's, it's, obvious, it's obvious that uh, black has uh, just comfortably equalized, but most probably. Not more, not more, because, okay, this pawn on c3, it closed the uh, diagonal for the bishop, and, well, what, he, what, what can he do now? He can, let's say, play queen f6, forcing this uh, exchange on f3. I think this... Rook d8 also. Well, queen b6 is another choice to keep an eye on b2. Well... Pawn. Queen f6 like I liked more, actually. Quite interesting, quite interesting. Okay, uh, Alexander allows this weakening exchange on f3. Well, considering that his bishop pair will be more valuable factor in, in this structure, well, I don't, I don't know. I think that it's still, it's still about equal, although, although white bishop, let's say, when, will, when it will come to <coughs> I think d5 is sort of dream square. And f4, f5 might be also something that white might want to. But now knight f3 is a threat, so white has to do something. Yeah, the bishop e4 and then bishop okay. Bishop d5, as you mentioned, it's quite dream square for white bishop. Rook d8 is probably natural. Oh, no, c4. c4 preparing 
good square d3 for the for the knight. It's, it's a very reasonable idea, I think. Rook d1, also quite natural move. Two minutes for each player. Yeah, so Boris Gelfand had this one minute handicap not long ago, but, well. I think that. Uh, one sec. Pawn sacrifice. He did not want uh, oh, no, to no, allow no, the. Not, not, not a pawn sacrifice, actually, because oh, Bishop, D3, Bishop D3 is met with Rook E1. Yes, very, very, very nice trick, very nice trick by Boris Gelfand. So I think that still he has everything under control. Okay. Rook E2. Now Bishop D3, it's kind of a threat. Rook D8, probably it's logical move to. But, rook but still. No, we no, rook d, rook, d, rook d8 is a good one, rook d8 is a good one, because, or, or, may, or, or maybe not, because, okay, rook, rook d8, bishop d3 then. Yeah, it's and cd3, rook e8, rook e8, and rook, rook d3. Rook d3, rook d3, and it's a, a, just pawn, pawn a pawn down. is a pawn. Yeah, queen a6. Queen a6, still I can take, or then the a2 bishop, uh, sorry, a2 pawn will be... Yes, under yes. some pressure, so black will have a chance. Yes, and after a3, rook d8, bishop, bishop d3, very solidly defended. Rook e8, and I think queen d3. Yes, Alexander went for this. Oh yeah, after queen a2, maybe queen b5 was what what Boris Gelfand had underestimated. Queen b5 attacking the rook on e8 and also keeping an eye on b7 and protecting the b2 pawn. Yes, yes, yes. Very, uh, very nice move. And this, this kingside weakness is, a, is, not, is not a problem for white with this material. Bishop on g3 protects everything solidly. King g2 also will be there quite solidly protecting the f3 pawn. And... Uh, also, uh, extra pawn on queen side will uh, affect the game. Yeah, so it looks like somehow, somehow Alexander Grishuk managed to to outcalculate. Okay. Queen d7, queen e6, and queen b7, I guess, with the same idea as you had. Yes, yeah, a pawn is a, a, a pawn. Is a pawn. Yes, a pawn is a pawn. I think. Well, Alexander probably is thinking about well, queen e6. But I think rook e6 is not a problem for black. After rook d8, bishop f8, no... No, no bishop d6. There is no bishop d6. There is no bishop d6, yeah, and d6. no way to, to exploit this uh, back rank weakness. But still, queen but e6... But still he goes for this. I think he has to Maybe he rook. did not like something queen e2 or something like this after queen b7. But we anyway already don't have the queens on the board, and. Rook d7, also emphasizing that uh, the pawns are weak. Rook b6 was not a move because then rook d8 would work. Not so sure about it. Okay, rook no, d8, bishop f8. I mean, instead of h5. Yeah. So h5 had to But okay, but, no. I, but I, 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 I thought, okay, Still. rook b6, yeah. And now. Still, right, controlling the d6. Now Boris is aiming for bishop's endgame. Well. <laughs> Nice Rook trick. Eight, it's nice. Nice trick. Though King H7 is still possible if I don't want to. Although, although I don't see big difference actually. Right. Yes, then moving this pawn to A4. We have bishop at games and uh, black has 15 seconds, which is not too much. Yes, but bad news for him that white king, white king is, is just in time to grab to, to C4. King now is very B3. important uh, piece, as we know, in the end game. So now B3, okay. More or less, it looks like technical technical win for White. Although maybe maybe with some tricks, I think that that's quite important. That uh, White uh, Black's uh, only queenside pawn will be blocked on Black Square. Okay, after this B3, but B3 was important. But F2 is a weakness. Okay, so. What to do now? Very interesting. Now bishop e5 looks yes, yes. nice. Bishop Probably. maybe to d4. H3, h3 just in h3, case. H3, yeah. No, he just... He wants to change the pawns. a4 doesn't seem to be so good, I guess, because... Oh, 
We have A4 on board? I think, I think it's more or less the only chance. I think it's more or less the only chance for black because otherwise it would be just too easy technical win. And now... Now B5. Uh, this, this, this pawn on A4... It can be a bit of trouble for white sometimes no, 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 not no, to no, escape. No, no, no. C4, C5, game over. Right. Yeah. Yes. King C2 just in case so there is... Yes, Boris was doing fine after the opening, but then then Alexander just tactically outplayed him.